Good morning. We're so happy that you are here. Um, today is acupuncture day. This is the first time I've ever, ever tried acupuncture. Um, I've been meaning to, even just with my migraines, but now with all of the infertility and cyst business, um, we figured we'd give it a shot. So we do daily vlogs. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow. Um, and yeah, I'm going to see, I don't know how much I'll be able to show. Um, so it'll be a new experience for all of us. This is where I'm going today, Awaken Radiant. It's like, it's together. It's in Winter Park. I'm on Orange Avenue, but it has this cute little walkway area. I don't know, I'm excited. I was a little bit nervous, but it looks pretty cute and like, not scary. I don't know why I thought it would be scary, but not like a hospital. Okay, so we have a quick change of plans. Peter is running in the One Pulse run tomorrow, and he was just gonna pick up his bib in the morning, but because I'm right where the pickup is, and we are going to be staying on Disney property tonight at the boardwalk, it's like a six minute drive away, and I'm an hour early to my appointment, so I got plenty of time. It's so cool to like, go down these more residential roads like it's not apartments it's not super close to Disney like I don't know it's just like a really really cool area and I do hope that this is where we end up moving this fall so I'm a little early the store that I am picking up the bib from opens in like 15 minutes so I have a little bit of time to kill I'm gonna answer some comments um, but before I do that I just wanted to say thank you so much for all of your suggestions on Instagram and messaging and um, in the comment section for getting rid of the cysts. I went on an Amazon shopping spree yesterday of like natural products and supplements and tea and all different sorts of things that all should arrive today. So that with the acupuncture, like I am just like so in it to get rid of this cyst and I want to thank you guys for helping me also. Um, last night with like the free pop and popcorn and stuff um, I decided that was my last caffeine like caffeinated beverage or caffeine really in general because I don't do coffee um, for this month my doctor told me that I'm allowed my one can of pop a day but because like we're really like hitting a roadblock with this cyst thing I just know that sugar and caffeine isn't doesn't help and it um I don't know like I am willing to cut it out if it means that it'll go away um not saying it's forever but just like bringing out the big guns this month like we are doing it all to make sure that next month that this IVF is going to happen and we are going to talk it into existence um because I'm capable and I know that we're gonna rock it once it happens so because your suggestions like could be what rids me of this and what makes this happen so everything that you have told me I you know I've continued to research and and all things point to so many of these different things being helpful and so if this is what it takes and it everything goes well and we start next month like I have you guys to thank for um, for all of your encouragement and of course like everything that you suggested. So um, I'm hoping that this will help others and that I can share what I did um, and just you know continue to share this this crazy story um, of what we're living through. I'm actually wearing this shirt that Lisa sent me. Thank you so much, Lisa. She also sent us a whole bunch of other. Um, goodies and it has this one in eight because one in eight couples struggle to conceive um and so we're just you know we're just really hoping that one we'll document this and look back on it and think to ourselves wow we went through that and we got through it and look at our amazing children um but also just to normalize it and to I don't know help anyone else because so many of you guys have reached out to us and I, I honestly, it's not a club I ever wanted to be a part of, um, but I am proud to be in the community just of all of like the relentless, strong um, 
humans that we've gotten to talk to because of it. So that's my rant. Look who is here. I'm here. I'm here. here. Look whose room's not ready an hour and a half. I know, it's naughty. So we're going to the front desk and see because we have our dinner here and Carolyn doesn't know it, but Ben is surprising her with a illumination firework cruise and we've known about it for weeks. Which is another reason why we wanted to book this boardwalk night so we can be here, go to the bed, come back, relax, spend as much time as we can with them. But our room's gotta get ready. Yeah, well like, I'm not mad about it because we haven't been here. And Sarah's yeah. been busy going crazy as you saw. So like, she hasn't been here. And she could have been here, but I'm glad she did what she did by being home. Yeah. With Eve and getting stuff ready. Yeah, Ben so and Matt are gonna mad, be with Eve tonight. But I will be a little perturbed if they don't give us a room right now. There's no other feeling quite like checking. Did they give us a one bedroom? We have a one bedroom, Peter. No, we booked a studio. No, we booked a one bedroom. We booked a one bedroom? <laughs> yeah. How did we book a one bedroom for one night? That's what they had. I forgot slash didn't know that we booked a one bedroom? Look at this place. This is great. Let me turn on the lights and we can do a quick little tour before we start tearing it up. Because I got to change. We got to eat dinner. Ah, I'm so excited. What? It's the last night of our friends being here, so it's like we've been perpetually living like we've been on vacation for three weeks and we've spent so much more money than we typically would have been spending mm -hmm. ever. Yeah, but it's, it's worth it. it. Let's do a tour. So you got your front closet. It's pretty much like the air hearts just reversed. You got your mirror with your hooks that Kaylee likes to play with the hats. Some more hooks and you come around the corner, it's just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Stacy. And light too. Beautiful with the sun coming up, the sun facing this way. Yeah. It's funny to see this as a couch because they haven't pulled out as a bed. Yes. And then this is like where we hide all of our stuff. And then over here is Thanks for <gasps> the washer and dryer. Right here we've got the bathroom, mm -hmm. the shower. Look at this long ledge. I like a good ledge. And I love these about, I don't think they make the one bedrooms like this anymore with these three ways it's doors. It's like just like Wilderness Lodge. It is similar to Wilderness Lodge. So then you can walk through that to this way because you've got your bathtub that opens up to the bedroom. Your vanity here, your closet here, a safe I wish looking room. I know. You've got the bedroom with some amazing photos. Stacy once again. Here's the view from this angle. Look how big and amazing it is. I'm always so bad at locks. And right outside our balcony is the swan and dolphin wow. and the friendship boats. I run past that all the time. Gorgeous. And then you can actually walk into there to get to our living room. So we'll definitely be having some coffee tomorrow, having some coffee. Yeah, Wait, we can see Hollywood Studios. I made us green goddess bowls. Ew. They looked prettier than <laughs> Pinterest. They look beautiful right And now. I don't like owls, so I could pick over them. Seven, it's 6.53, we have to be at the Yacht Club at 7.45, so we're gonna go down to our little friend's room. Our room's all ready for us to return later. My favorite, one of my favorite things that like really makes me feel like vacation, I can leave my car keys right there. Ready? Remember when we like used to drive here and hang out the air hearts for the past 10 years? Now we're here. Wow, look at this. Watch this, watch this. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Here we are, we're back with the Earhart clan. They were very They're all about us coming to their room. Karen was highly concerned that we were in a different room, that not your room. Hi cutie. We got we didn't even spend time with you yesterday. You know? Hello. She's been giving Sarah the lovey eyes. I saw it from afar. 
She thinks she's so cool because her birthday was like days ago. Days. But she gets to celebrate even more. So much. She's got thrice Mick in her ears. Triple Mick. Triple Mick. Also, Trip Mick. Children were with a babysitter last night. Some people were asking where the other kids were. Katrina um, was up for the after yes. hour, so she. You know, came. you know what we did? We actually put them all we left them in on there. The oh. oh. And, we, and we, we put a tarp over it. No. To, to we be had, fair, there's there's um what is the name of the company? Fairy Godmothers. But we're not gonna Godmothers. we're not gonna tell you who the babysitter is no, because we love our babysitter. She's, a, she's like, what, a three or four time we repeat? Don't wanna, this is our third time third using. Time. Yeah. Last time she said, I'll come back and babysit the ba the newborn. Yeah. And she did. And here she we did. Are. You guys are matchy matchy. Matchy matchy. Also, if you were wondering, the kids don't know the surprise for Carolyn. Look at this rainbow. Wow. Over Crescent Lake. Actually, over Seabreeze Point. What do you think we're doing? I think we're going to go on a boat. We... Boats, boats, boats! Boats? We are. <laughs> you guys did. Oh man. Look at the rainbow. Look at all the birthday boats. Guys, did you guys know we're going on one of those boats? No. We're going on one of those boats to watch Illuminations tonight for mom's birthday. Well, those are balloons on those. Whoa. How cool. Isn't that we super get cool? We go on those. Yeah, we do. Birthday Let's dance. get some high fives. High fives around. <laughs> Booyah! Like Booyah, Kaylee! Kaylee, high five to Peter! High five to Peter! Booyah! Oh yeah, the kids got their life jackets. Look at this baby, ready to go. Let's go cruising! Everything is Everything is cool when you pet the teeth. Everything is awesome. Just absolute perfection. We're just looking at birds, having a good time with Captain Chris. This is just great. This is magic. This is Disney World. Best birthday ever! Best birthday for Mama! <laughs> oh my gosh. This is the music. This is it. This is the Epcot music. And Captain Chris did it. <laughs> Captain Chris did it. <laughs> we always say, like, when we take a, a lap, we're like, we're taking a, a page from the Earhart's book. So, imagine this special. Pretty good time. Even Kaylee had it. Yeah. And Cordelia. Like Mickey's. Is that what you're saying? This is called pure Disney magic. Oh, there you go. Cartwheels on the lawn. Wow. 
Good job. <laughs> Very good. It is free in the arcade again today. Oh, okay, Ready to go. For once, the Earhearts are in our room. Yeah. When has this ever happened? This has literally never happened. Never. Here we go. We got decaf. We got the Earhearts. We're just living our best selves. I want one cheeseburger. Pardon me. No, thank you. You are the bad guy. You are the bad She's the bad guy. What? To your room. Guess what? Hmm. The Earhearts left us. Wow. Never happened before. I never thought that would happen. I felt bad. Katrina was like, is your dog he asleep? Like, I think she thought that Evie was here. Oh. We're going to hang out with Stacy the rest of the night? Yeah. We don't have the message or the dog message of the night. Right. We're here, and we're going to... Well, Peter has the run in the morning, but we're also going to go out in the balcony. And the wine. The Earhearts go home tomorrow. We're not so. talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.